Gary's Mod is a game where you can pretty much do anything. Well, almost anything. There are definitely a few limitations in this game, and one of them, which is the subject of today's video, is something that always kind of bothered me. And that one thing is that you cannot download add-ons mid-game and then use them mid-game. You have to restart or reboot the level, and that's always been kind of annoying. However, in today's video, we're going to aim to change that with the Auto Workshop Downloader. It's kind of funny because this reminds me a lot of a feature in old Gary's Mod called Toy Box, where you could open up almost like a workshop page in the Q menu and you could download mods mid game and it'll load in right then and there. I mean, not only would it download the mod, it would automatically equip it if it was a weapon or spawn it if it was an NPC. So really just kind of ahead of its time, but the fact that it didn't stick around, well, it kind of sucks. In fact, I think Toy Box, in fact, I think Toy Box predates the workshop. So, this is kind of injecting a little bit of that toy box energy back into Gmod. Now, of course, we could talk about it all day, or we could actually take a look at it, which is what we're going to do in today's video. This is a mini mod showcase, guys. Thanks for coming by. Let me know what you want to see in the next video down below. But for now, let's take a look at this mod. So, you're going to notice a brand new tab open up in your Q menu, and that's going to be the workshop page. So how this mod pretty much works is you can either do, well, one of two things. You can look at what's hot. It's going to show you some of the hottest mods, like Robert. Once you find the mod that you want, click on it, and it'll automatically start downloading it from the workshop. Nothing crazy there, right? You'll get a notification that it has been hot loaded. Go back into that tab. Go ahead and check out your hot loaded mods and here we have robert so now you're thinking all right now what well the magic really starts when you look at your weapons and check this out we have other and i i promise you guys i have not reloaded this map there's robert and boom we got our little rat buddy and i did not need to restart the game or reload the level i just don't I did not expect that, but what I did expect is for this to work, and honestly, this is going to change the game in Gary's Mod forever. However, there are a few things to take note. One, this does not work for every single mod, and also, we just showed one example. I will do one more just so you get a good idea of what this really looks like. So for mods that change the textures or replace models, those are ones that you're probably going to need to replace. Those are mods that you're probably going to need to restart anyway, so please be mindful of that. Also, maps, for instance, don't really matter because, well, you have to reload into that map anyway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try the Super Pistol here. Once again, downloads just like normal, and then it's going to give you a notification that it has hot loaded. Just to confirm that we have hot loaded it, we're going to go back into that workshop page. It might lag for just a moment, but that's totally fine. There's our Super Pistol. All right, so now we got to look for it. And going back to the other tab, well, what do you know? There's our Super Pistol. And it's, it's just a basic admin gun. But hey, you know what? We just wanted to make sure it works, and it definitely does. Okay, so what if you don't want any of the mods in the What's Hot tab? I mean, this can't be all that we download, right? Well, simply go into add-ons, download whatever mod it is that you desire. All right, guys, so we're downloading Symphy's Armed Vehicles. Now, this is going to be a really good test because, well, we're downloading... Okay, I thought my game froze there for a second. So what we're doing is we're downloading multiple mods, and it's a mod that needs multiple other mods to work correctly. If this somehow still works that is going to be pretty damn awesome so we're downloading it right now i don't know what all that other stuff was we were getting errors though um we're also getting more errors now all right so we had quite a few lag spikes there not a hundred percent sure why that even was so you're gonna notice well how do we hot load it well that's the amazing thing about this mod it automatically hot loads it for you so that's what all that kind of lagging and stuttering was now let's see if it really did do something. All right, so we do have a bit of a predicament. When you have a mod that requires multiple mods, you need to make sure that it downloads all of those mods. For some weird reason, 
it did not download the Lua base, and this is obviously integral to make this work. So if we actually do resubscribe to it, maybe we can get it? By the way, I don't know why it has to keep re-downloading Cheeple, that's, uh, that's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> Alright, so here we have that big lag spike, once again, that's kind of required to have it be mounting everything in the background. It can take a little longer than I'd like, but we are now done. Let's see if it did properly mount everything this time. And it looks like it did, so now we do have the proper base. Let's see if it's actually in the game. And you're gonna notice we have a new tab, the Simfies tab. And I can't believe it, I think this actually did work. Once again, I swear I have not restarted anything. This instance that we're in is the same one. Okay, I think I had to turn off Matt Specular or something. Alright, that definitely did fix the issue. So, like I said, this is the same instance from when we first started this video. I have not even restarted this once. Even when we ran into issues, I stuck it through. And I'm really glad I did because, I mean, this looks great. Everything is working flawlessly exactly how it should. By the way, these vehicles are just absolutely sick, I just gotta say. We're gonna go ahead and spawn the Mongoose. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite myself, so this is kind of awesome to, uh, to actually try out. Plus, when's the next time I'm gonna actually showcase a vehicle mod anyway? So of course, Symphy's base is a very awesome vehicle base. I like how this turned into a vehicle mod showcase real quick. But see, isn't that the great thing about this mod? The fact that it makes you not even have to worry about it. You can just focus on the mods you want to download instead. Alright, next up we're gonna try these scorpion tanks just because, well, screw it, why not? And, uh, whoa, this looks kind of weird. Alright, I definitely recommend using third person for this. Unfortunately, the cannon doesn't work. It looks like it's, it's just for show. Wait, can this thing actually go in the water? I'm curious now. Oh. Oh, oh yes it can! Alright, so now I'm downloading the Rick Astley player model. I don't know why I'm doing this. And this will be the final test. So we tested a weapon, we tested vehicles, and now we're testing an NPC. So this thing should automatically load the PM, and it definitely did. Let's go ahead and kill ourselves. And now you're going to notice we are never going to really give it up. All right, and it looks great, although there's this weird, like, what is that? And of course, we also have the NPC. Never thought I'd see Rick Astley with a, uh, shotgun. We also have a evil version, so you can watch them fight each other, but it, it's just a reskinned combine and citizen. Needless to say, you guys can see this works. Honestly, I thought we'd run into more issues than we did, but every, uh-oh. I think I spoke too soon. Okay, I don't know what that is. So you're gonna notice some occasional like skips and stutters. This mod definitely does add quite a bit of that. But again, it really kind of is required when you consider it's doing all this stuff in the background. But let me know what you guys think down below. It's worked on every mod we try today. I'm sure it'll work for most of the mods that you want to try. If you guys do want to suggest something, you can check out my Discord down below or the comment section down there as well. As always though, thanks for watching, leave a like, links are in the description, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.